Hi, my name is Chintan and in this video today we are going to take a look at how to model the bossy staple inside of SketchUp. This staple was designed by Stein Studios and it is located in South Africa. So let's take a look at how to model this inside of SketchUp. Let's go. So let's start by making a square of size 4.5 meters by 4.5 meters. We are doing this because the Bezier surface plugin that we are using for this video does not take in dimensional inputs. So select this and make it a group. Now activate the Bezier surface plugin. Now using this as reference, make a square over it like this. Now double click on it to bring the Bezier surface control that would give us this dialog box. Now select these two points and click on create quad patch. Similarly select these two points and then again click on create quad patch and do it again over here with this. Now select all the points that lie on the top and then click on create quad patch again and that would give us these 8 squares with control points over them. Now select these control points in an alternate manner like this. Now to add to your selection you can hold down the control key or the shift key. Now then move them up using the gizmo over here. Now you need to eyeball this in the VCB until it treats somewhere around 4.5 meters. After that select these three points. and then move them up by using the gizmo by 1.5 meters now we can delete this group and now we have this fluid surface with us now make a copy of this using the move tool along with the control key and then move it up by 450mm. Now double click on this surface to edit it again. Then select these four points. To add selection you can hold down the control key. Once selected click on the Z gizmo and then move them up by 450mm like this now if your system starts to lag or the fans start to go crazy you can hide the edge profiles I have set up a shortcut alt plus K for that but if everything is just fine you can double the subdivisions on this surface and you can increase the number of subdivisions to like 32 or 16. Similarly, for this surface, if you double click on it and type the number 16 or 32, that would double the number of subdivisions. Now select both of these and then right click them and explode them. Now we don't need the Bezier surface plugin but we need a surface to fill these gaps. So for that we would use the curvy loft plugin. Now with these both surface selected click on loft by spline and then reduce the number of segments to one and then click on this button over here that would finalize it and this would give us a group with the surface that fills the gap between these two fluid surface. If we explode it and if we reverse this face and select it all and then make it a group we have a roof structure that is almost complete. Now to make the rest of the model we need to make a rectangle like this then offset it by 900 mm. Now if we triple click on this and deselect the face in the middle and delete the rest of it and push it down that would give us like something like this. Then we need to triple click to select it and intersect it with the model. So right click and intersect with model. 
Now select these faces that lie under the roof and make them a group. Now if we triple click and delete, that would delete the part that lies on top of the roof. Also we can delete this face. Now all we need is to create windows using these surfaces. For that we are using the divide panel tool of the 1001 bit pro plugin. So if you click on this and change the number of rows to 2 and the number of columns to 2 as well and then click on create panel this would give us this class facade as you can see it has some problems but we can easily fix them so first using the eraser tool delete this edge over here now as you can see this part of the frame is missing so if you we draw a line like this and then use the push pull tool it would give us the part that was sort of missing similarly over here if we delete this edge go outside the group and then draw a line that is for the missing surface it would give us a surface and then we would use the push pull tool along with the control key to give us a surface now we can select all the faces and reverse them and give this a glass material using the paint bucket tool similarly for this face select it and then click on the divide panel tool and then click on create panel that would give us this facade this sort of came out fine so just reverse the faces and give it a glass material now we can either make the remaining two in a similar manner or we can just copy them around so for that we would replace the ones that we made by rotating a copy of these so for that make a diagonal line like this then select these two groups and then using the rotate tool along with the control key and then using this diagonal line as the reference so from its midpoint we could rotate a copy of these two like this after that we can delete the rest of the geometry that we don't need and this would give us this roof structure and the glass facade now we can add some base and some side context to it so for that make a rectangle like this give it some thickness then scale it on both the sides then scale it using the control key so that would scale only on the one side from the middle Now as you can see the basic form of the chapel is sort of ready. So to make the surroundings draw a line like this in the middle. Then make a rectangle like this. Now using the rectangle tool, draw two rectangles like this. Delete this line in the middle. Now double click to select it and group it. Then copy it and paste it in place. Now using the move tool, move it over to this side. And then to mirror it, use the scale tool and then type minus one. So that it mirrors the whole scale now we have these two groups so you can cut them and paste them inside this group then explode these and push these down now offset this surface move this edge back to over here now push this up by 30 centimeters now just to give some context you can add some 2d crowd all of this is completely optional you can totally skip this 
now basically the tutorial is over i am just doing this because i need to make the youtube thumbnail so after that you can give it some color so i am adding a darker gray color to the frame and this signature blue to the roof also this part of the model is sort of the water area so after making it rise up like this we can give it a glass material and make it a bit blue so that it resembles water in a graphical manner so select both of these and if we duplicate this material and change the color and the name to water and change it to some sort of blue and then we color it yeah this would give us the water material and this is it the whole model is done and so yeah this is how you model the bossy's chapel inside of sketchup if you found this video helpful please subscribe like do your thing and i would see you in the next video if you have any doubts you can join our discord server also link is down below if you are looking to get my shortcuts that i use while modeling inside of sketchup there is a link to gumroad you can get those for free so yeah bye peace i'll see you in the next one